This video will provide an overview of a technology implementation plan for implementing a virtual chat service at Tarleton Libraries. A virtual chat service will assist Tarleton Library staff in providing online library reference and instruction services, especially during the COVID-19 crisis, which has resulted in a need for more online support services. The target audience for this technology solution is Tarleton State University's students, faculty, and staff. The first step in the technology implementation plan process is planning the technology initiative. This step involves consulting Tarleton State University's technology plan to determine if the chat service aligns with the university's overall strategic and technology plan. Upon reviewing the plan, the library administrator will meet with Tarleton's technology team to inform them of the search for a virtual chat service. Based on the university's plan, the library administrator will develop an implementation plan for the chat service. The second step is determining the technology needs for a chat service. This step involves conducting user surveys to determine the needs for a chat service, as well as the features that a chat application should provide. After the user survey, library staff will also be interviewed to determine preferences from a service point of view. The survey data will be collected and analyzed. The third step in the plan is to select the technology solution for the chat service. The library administrator will investigate options for library chat service applications. Currently, there are four companies that offer virtual library chat services. The administrator will analyze the costs of each platform, review the library's available budget, compare the features between the four products, review the survey data to match needs, and then make a final decision on the technology solution based on the analysis. Next, the administrator will consult with the technology team and review the implementation plan to determine the next steps for implementing the chat solution. Additionally, the administrator will work with Tarleton's purchasing office to determine contract perimeters and ensure that the vendor meets the Texas A&M system's qualifications. Throughout this third step, the administrator will document all of the decisions made as well as the justifications. The fourth step in the process is implementing the technology needs. The library administrator will assemble an implementation team consisting of the library systems admin and the head of reference services, whose department will be covering the chat service and using the chat application on a daily basis. The team will consult the implementation plan and develop a schedule for rolling out the new chat service. Additionally, the library systems admin will assign administrative or user privileges. Then, the implementation team will move forward with implementing the technology. The fifth step in the process is safeguarding the technology after it has been implemented. This step involves conducting a risk assessment to determine any potential threats or vulnerabilities within the chat service application. Additionally, the administrator will work with the systems admin to identify countermeasures and develop a security policy using Tarleton State University's technology plan as a guide. Lastly, the library administrator and the systems administrator will review vendor documentation to identify built-in security measures, for example, an IP blocking feature. The library administrator and the systems administrator will familiarize themselves with everything needed to secure the chat service and develop procedures for the reference services staff to safely use the chat application. The sixth step is maintaining and supporting the technology. The library administrator and systems administrator should review and familiarize themselves with the vendor contract, in particular the maintenance agreement. Understanding what the vendor will provide is important for planning to maintain and support the technology. In addition, the library administrator should establish a staff member or submission form for reporting technical issues. Users need a point person or form to contact if they run into issues while using the chat service. This point person should know how to direct or address the issue. Having these plans in place and being familiar with the vendor maintenance agreement will ensure a smooth process for maintaining and supporting the service. The seventh step in the process is training for the new technology. 
The library administrator should develop a professional development training plan for both staff and administration. Within this plan, the administrator should determine if the professional development and training will be offered in-house or through vendor training. The administrator should work with the vendor to determine what training is available for the service. Also, the administrator must consider user training. The administrator should ask the vendor if there are instructional videos available for users or if the library staff need to create their own instructional videos and promotions. Lastly, the plan should include how often training would occur for staff, administration, and external users. The final step in the technology implementation plan is to integrate the technology. The previous seven steps involve planning, decision making, and documentation, whereas this step requires the administrator to take action to integrate the technology into the workplace. The library administrator will ask the department head to inform their staff covering the service that the service is ready for launching. The library administrator will work with the department head to develop policies for coverage and offering the service, establish a coverage schedule, and develop a marketing campaign to inform the campaign campus community of the newly available chat service for users to ask library-related questions. After completing these eight steps, the library's chat service will be ready to go. While a lot of the planning and decision making are complete, it is important for the library administrator and systems administrator to be mindful that new issues or challenges not previously thought of could arise. As such, the planning is ongoing to ensure the technology is meeting the library and users' needs. In the future, the library administrator may need to consider changing technology needs and reconduct a needs assessment. An educational technology leader should constantly be assessing and improving the technology solution. The work is not done when the technology is integrated.